we are uh, um, using android or apple phone so we are accustomed with the right terminology if you are talking to your friend that okay i have to install one app you are talking app you are taking the name of the app so terminology is very important okay like minded people like minded business air enter fitting so a device designed to deliver a, mag a mixture of air and water so you must have seen this at many places air enter okay what do they do they just create the can anybody tell me the technical uh, thing what the air enter do they mix air with the water to reduce the that's what i am asking a very very theoretical thing what the air enter does theoretical yes you are talking it practically or in a general language speaking language you are telling reduce the flow rate of the water uh it's a application part right it's a application part what what aerator does a very very theoretical fluid mechanics go to your books and tell me that engine is water that's right it's a application part Sorry. Exactly. So what it does, it reduce it it changes the uh, laminar flow to turbulent flow. Turbulent. Exactly. So Reynolds number changes. Hmm. How it changes is the application is the use of air. Rate. Okay. Got it. So wherever you are uh, plumbing is a science. Okay. Don't take it as a very casual subject. when you design a very tall building you will realize that how important it is second thing you are seeing this aerator over here the this fitting used for aerating a liquid especially water <coughs> if you go to the lead icbc certifications there are different type of aerator available based on what type of certification you are doing <coughs> if you are doing uh, silver gold platinum whatever it is or just comply then there is a specific type of aerator suggested in the code that okay the aerator should reduce the flow by 5% 10% 50% 25% that gives you the points so it's a, uh, the things have gone a lot ahead that what we are currently looking at the very nice ad showcased on the tv about the aerator okay get deep dive into it air admittance valve air admittance valves a one way valve designed to allow the air to enter the drainage system what it does simple this just gets air in or out in this is air admittance the name itself suggest but why in in the last uh, saturday i told you one phenomena natural phenomena tube with the thumb what will happen water will not go water will not flow the moment you remove your thumb the water will flow so that thumb operation is done by this air admittance valve air break now uh, a physical separation which may be at low inlet you must have seen this type of arrangement at mostly if you have gone to <coughs> europe or some uh, high end uh, hotel in uh, mumbai that there is a uh, equipment like this which is available inside the wall basin the so foreign people have the habit of getting the water accumulated in the basin and then they wash their hands the uh, face sorry so how it is uh, it will happen unless you close it the water will not start increasing its level air gap so this is the air gap water distribution and drainage the distance between source to drain point authority having jurisdiction uh, jurisdiction ahj if you refer most of the foreign courts okay you will find this terminology very common ahj ahj either that is plumbing fire hvac electrical ahj is very popular not with us that's why it is given. So, what is the authority having jurisdiction at this location for plumbing? Yeah. 
and what is in the BKC? Who is the authority? MMRD. So Mumbai has various different different authorities, very complex to handle. Backflow, the reverse flow of liquid, two types of backflow, back pressure and back siphonage. So we just discussed back pressure and back siphonage in the traps and interceptor. Okay. When the back pressure will uh, happen? On the uh, on one side you have higher pressure and other side you have lower pressure. So back pressure will create. So there are backflow preventers. So there are backflow preventers. There are some manufacturers who manufacture the backflow preventer, which will not allow anything outside to come inside the property. Back siphonage, reverse flow due to the negative pressure. So here it was 1 bar, 3.5 bar, it was back pressure. Here it is back siphonage. It is not, see, you have a trap, uh, you have a wall over here, probably a flap, which is not allowing the trap seal to blow out. Back water wall. As I told you, there is a this plastic arrangement which comes in 100, 150, 200 and more diameters, which does not, which allows the water, uh, waste water to flow in one direction only. Battery of fixture. Simple. What is the meaning of battery of fixture? If you want to memorize, what is the battery? Battery is the arrangement in the array. So there are multiple fixtures connected to the one uh, common drain is called as the battery of fixture. Drainage system. The complete system comprises called as drainage right. system. Soil, waste, vent, water, uh, soil, waste, vent and yeah, that's clean out plugs. You are lifting stations, building some drains, bypass, any method that will permit the water or other fluid to pass around the valve or fixture, that is called as bypass. Sometimes applied to a connection between drain pipe and vent pipe that allows air to exit the building. So this is bypass arrangement. Now, someone from you tell me why this is not correct and why this is correct. This is the PRV installed, this is PRV installed on bypass also not on main line. What is, why one is called as incorrect, why one is called as correct? Anyone? Sir, yes, because someone opened the bypass line, then uh, chances of the below floor fixtures will damage. There could be multiple consequences. One is listed by me. Second, wall is not your PR. Wall reduces the flow, not pressure. Carrier, this complete system which carries your flush tank, supply connection, drain connection, storage, the device will be mount plumbing fixture, such as lavatory, water closet, urinal, shower, and sink. So the frame is called as carrier. Cleaning sink for waste from bed pan, flushing rim, integral track. Not much popular in our country, but if you go to a few five star hospitals, you can see. There is one more elaboration in the next few, next few slides. Contamination. Memorize this description. And what is the contamination? Anything, any impurity which is unwanted is contamination. Okay? You can derive the definition from a number of ways, but you have to memorize this. See PVC. Now there is a, PVC is popular, polyvinyl chloride. There are many, many families to it, like CPVC, UPVC, even HDPE, HDPE, <coughs> there are many things. Okay, even polyethylene, just polyethylene. So, if polyvinyl chloride that has a chlorinated to improve the material characteristic to sustain the higher temperature, PPVC. What is development length? The distance between end of the trap up to the so, uh, entry to the main stand. So, that is development. <coughs> Diameter. Yeah. Now, I have to tell you one important thing. Quick. There are three parts. One is consultant, client, and contractor in the fraternity. But consultant prepares design drawing, contractor prepares drawing. So when consultant is giving you uh, giving the drawing, what he should mention? 
what diameter he should mention? Inner dia, outer dia, nominal. What he should mention? ID of the pipe. ID. Exactly. He should mention always internal diameter of the pipe because he is designing based on Hazel William <coughs> or Darcy Wedgewell or many n number of this other. But he is designing the internal dia. And why contractor should give the outer dia? Correct. Space. So whether the things will fit or will not fit. How somebody will come to know? Contractor is least bothered about your internal dia. He is bothered about what material you have suggested. GI, CI, PVC, glass, anything. And he is worried about manufacturer, okay, this is X manufacturer has the outer dia or this much size. So I am fitting it. Can I fit the pipe or I cannot fit the pipe? Okay? Good. So it is given over here. Uh, drainage fixture rate. This we covered in the first lecture also. Discharge fixture rate or drainage fixture rate, a common measure of the probable discharge into the drainage system. The value of drainage fixture depends upon its quantity and rate of drainage discharge. The time duration of single drainage operation. The average time between successive operations. Okay. <coughs> dry and wet area. Washroom layout should dry and wet area. Wherever there is a water to be splashed on the floor, it is called as wet area. When there, wherever there is fixture usually installed, is a wet area. Now, why not recommended and why recommended? The difference is visible. Okay? You have the wet area which is adjacent to the shaft. These are the most used areas in a toilet. So, usually the architect should design it accordingly. Otherwise, you can suggest. So, whenever you are entering in a toilet, the wash basin is the maximum use fixture. Then WC and shower is only once in a day. Ferrule connection. Ferrule are the fitting for joining two pipes together and making the connection watertight. So one connection, second connection. Flood level ring. This, all of you have seen this? Yes. What is this fixture? Wash, wash and wash. Okay, what is the use of it? Or or other way? Otherwise, it will spill over to the dry area. <coughs> overflow is one function. That overflow will go from that particular time, uh, point. Otherwise, what it provides? Wet. Absolutely. It provides wet. When? The basin is not full up to this level, but let us say half or two thirds. What will happen? There is no atmospheric air is there, but that is not allowing. That's why you see the whirl. When the water flows through a basin, you see a whirl. It is creating a vacuum inside or a uh, air column inside and then water flows. Okay. This helps that water a venting system. Grey water, as we discussed in the first session also, the water from WC beaded urinal waste. Okay? So, this is what clinical sink also called as beaded. Grey water includes water from bathtub, shower, bathroom, and wash basin, water from clothing washing machine, and laundry tub. It does not include waste from kitchen sink or dishwasher. Head and pressure. Very important criteria. I have seen many design engineers who have, haven't digested what is the design, what is the head. They, are, they just calculate it mechanically in the Excel sheets, but they don't understand it. So very important for you to understand. Meters of water column, bar, kg per centimeter square, one and the same. It is just a converting thing. You should be very seamless into that. So, as <coughs> there is an atmospheric pressure, okay, on this, because there is an atmospheric pressure higher on this part, the flow is maximum. Here, the atmospheric pressure is less, relatively less. This is an indicative of the diagram. Don't say that this is incorrect. Okay. Here, the atmospheric pressure is less. Second, the water column above this point 
is less so the flow uh, so it is not generating the head uh, the water column above this point is more than this hence it is creating more head the water column above this point is maximum that's why it is creating maximum head what is head the ability to throw the water up to the certain <coughs> Indirect waste pipe, but typical air gap of 25 mm minimum for the waste vegetable soaking washing. So, uh, separate times for air gaps, if not less than 25 mm required. So, uh, we will discuss this earlier also. There are two types of sink, adjacent sinks come. If you see the Nirali or something, one is for the soaking, another is for the cleaning. It is based on the people's hygiene, the amount of money you have. Invert level, as we discussed earlier. This is invert level, this is called as ground ground level. Okay, terminology. We are talking about terminology, or terminology has to be perfect. Then only people from other domain will respect him. If you talk general terms, they will say he is a general person. Joint, brace, shoulder. There are different types of joints available. Brace, joint, shoulder, joint, lavatory while placing in the set. What is lavatory? One basin in the set. So one, two, three, as shown in the earlier slide, they are connected with the maximum distance between is 800 mm. What, what to do if the distance is more than 800? <coughs> separate layer. Provide a separate layer. Macerating toilet system. Now, most of the time, uh, even in the first lecture also and uh, at the start of this, there was the WCs below the ground level. In one diagram, <coughs> so this is your ground level, okay? This is your external manhole, and this is your WC. Now there are, uh, if you want to earn few ICBC points, you have to provide the WC is in the basement. So what you have to do? You have to provide a sub which will lift the sewage up to the external level. But some manufacturer have come up with this arrangement. Mm -hmm. This is called as macerator pump. Okay. So this has the ability to lift the sewage up to 1520 meters high and 1050 meters lateral. Okay. So if there is a specific requirement of uh, this type of uh, WCs in the basement, then you can provide. This is macerating toilet system. Metered faucet. What is metered faucet? You press it and it automatically closes. So they are called as metered faucets. Uh, polybutylic. This is a type of pipe. It came, I think, five, six years back, but not much popular. Polyethylene. Yes, this is a different, different type of plastic or PVC. PELP, so three layers. One is P, then aluminum, then again polyethylene. Flex, crosslink polyethylene. This is a flexible type of pipe. This is also flexible, but up to certain extent. This is more flexible. This is also called as multi-layer composite pipe. Plumbing fixture, appliances, apparatus. Water closet, water heat, but water closet is fixed. Heater is appliance. Backflow prevention device or assembly is an apparatus. Pollution and requirement uh, of the quality of the potable water to a degree that does not create a hazard to public health, but which does adversely and unreasonably affect the aesthetics quality of each potable water. The water contaminants pollute the water. This is polypropylene, used only for the drainage. TPR, uh, this is the hot welded joint, slip joints. We discussed earlier also slip joint. Slope, so the vertical distance between start and end is called as slope. And usually denoted in the percentage. Thermostatic mixing unit work, so this is popularly called as EMU used in the hotels. Where so people, there should not be any hazard of very hot water coming out from the tap. So if you are connecting a solar line to the tap, then you must install a TM. Trap, we discussed in detail. 
UPVC pipes are plasticized uh, polyvinyl chloride pipes. Uh, vent system, this also be discussed in detail. So yeah, that is about the terminology. Yes, there are terminology like clean out plugs are there, branch vents, stack vents, continuous vents, individual fixture vents. So terminology, please be uh, aware of it. If you have any question, please ask. Otherwise, I can answer later on. Any questions, Jomit sir? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your wonderful presentation. I would like to invite our